End-to-end -end encryption or E2EE is a type of encryption where a message is encrypted at the sender's end and decrypted on the receiver's end. The message remains encrypted at all points during the transit, so even if someone intercepts it during transmission, they cannot read its contents. The encryption and decryption of the message happen only at the endpoints, the sender and the receiver end. The message is not encrypted or decrypted at any point in transit. Even the server relaying and storing your messages cannot decipher and read them. E2EE uses asymmetric public key encryption where both parties have two keys. Here the term key refers to the mathematical algorithm used to decrypt or encrypt a message. One of the keys is the public key that anyone can access while the other is the private key that is not shared with anyone else. The public key is used to encode a message and this encoded message can only be decoded using its corresponding private key. Simply put, it's a double lock system. When somebody sends you an encrypted message, their app uses your public key to encrypt the message. The encrypted message is sent over the internet, however, the public key can't be used to translate the messages into its original form. To do that, you need your private key. This is possible because the public key and private key are linked in a way that is nearly impossible to figure out when looking at the public key alone. Besides securing your messages and ensuring privacy, E2EE also helps those working remotely to access company tools and data securely. However, E2EE isn't a perfect security solution. If an app's communication is fully encrypted, that can prevent the app from offering additional features like contextual services based on the content of the message or the ability to automatically generate calendar invites, message history and other additional features. Moreover, while E2EE does help protect the content and data of your messages, it doesn't encrypt the metadata. Thus, even if the content is encrypted, it's still possible to determine who you sent messages to and when. Law enforcement agencies in the US and European countries have also argued that E2EE provides text messaging applications such as Telegram, WhatsApp, Apple Sign Messages, Jabber and Signal, or even Facebook Messenger from monitoring illegal activities on these platforms. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.